me know when you're ready. I am. All right. Can you see the shirt? You can. Shout out, Bryce. Awesome shirt. Love it. Printed right here in Chicago. Um, hello, everyone. My name is Mitch Dietz from the show Short Notice, and this is our very first Tech Check video. Um, a Tech Check is basically a new thing that we're doing where we look back on the previous week's episode and we dive into one specific problem that we had while shooting this episode. This week, we're going to be taking a look at Don't Feed the Rats, our short film from episode two last week. If you haven't seen it yet, pause this video right now. Go watch episode two and then come back and uh, watch this tech check because there will be some spoilers. I'm really excited to get into it, but before I do, I just want to make sure that everyone sticks around for the end of the video. Um, Riley will be coming in with some exciting announcements about episode three, as well as uh, giving a shout out to everyone who submitted to our freeze frame challenge. Let's get down to dirty. Let's get to bit down to business here. Um, I'm pulling up a sequence here to give you all an example of my big issue as a cameraman on this segment. From the kitchen here you can see that uh, the bowl has a shadow here, the light is on the ceiling, so when Riley uh, walks towards the door, she pours the beans, she's walking towards the door, and I see her shadow is aiming towards the wall. That means when I follow her with the camera, which I have to, this is one fluid shot, uh, my camera is going to stick on the wall um, and this just starts a whole whole sequence of nasty lighting situations where um, we have shadows. So this one I, ma I managed to only get a little bit of shadow here. You can see it on the wall. Um, so, so far this looks like a pretty good take. Um, as I fast forward a little bit here, you can see, look at that, that's a huge shadow of me holding the camera going across the frame. Now, let's see if I get it on the door. The door's another huge place. Yep, look at that. Another big shadow right there. I just kept getting my dang shadow in the shot. So, that is the problem. Now, let's talk about the solution. So now, um, we're in the test shadow removal sequence. So this is from the take that we chose. It was the best take. Um, Riley did everything really nicely, had a great efficiency. We, we, we found focus on the beans, but look at this. I mean, this is, this is a bad shadow. And so, um, after a lot of fussing around on After Effects, after watching a lot of videos and great tutorials on different ways to remove stuff, I decided to do it through Premiere um, with this Lumetri color function. The big problem here is that um, this wall is brighter than Riley. So, when she walks into this room, the focus goes off of her and onto the wall. What I did here is I created a mask that darkens the side of the wall. Look at, she's highlighted now and the wall is dark. And let me show you real quick how I got the shadow contained to this wall. There's just something called masking, um, which I can click on the mask and just show you what I did here. You see that I, I drew this rectangle and uh, it follows the edge of the wall as the camera moves. Anyways, so we go back to uh, the actual clip. This is the actual sequence of the film. Start the clip early and fade in that mask of shadow so that it slowly gets dark on the side of the wall as Riley enters. And then you'll see what the effect is here. If we play it without really dissecting it, there's the beans. I love that bean splash, one of my favorite parts of this film. She puts on her shoes, and we're still watching her feet if you're watching this for the first time. She goes into here. By now you're following her because this is not brighter. You're looking at her, the shadow is gone. Right? So I'm just going to let you guys watch that one more time. There's the beans. She's walking. Now instead of focusing on her feet, which is where my eye goes the first time, I'm going to focus on this. You see it slowly crawling in there, then it moves with the camera and just sticks on the wall. You still see a little bit of shadow there, but, you know, I showed this to Riley first time she saw it. She didn't see the shadow. She thought it was a different take. Um, and same with me. If I'm, if I'm watching, like I'm trying to watch on the first time, for viewers who would watch the episode for the first time, I'm watching her feet. You're, the, the mood is tense, you're watching to see what she's doing, where is she going, and now this wall is darker than her, so your eye goes 
to her. So that about does it for tech check on Don't Feed the Rats, which was removing the shadow off the wall. Now I'm gonna pass it off to Riley, who's got some exciting information about episode three. Let's hear it, Riley. Hey guys, I'm Riley, and I just wanna to talk to you a little bit about episode three. I wanna start this off by thanking everyone who submitted their frames for our freeze frame challenge. Thank you, thank you to Quinn, first of all, who gave us the first frame and gave us the idea for this episode. Um, I also want to shout out Bryce, Ritt, Steve, Kendall, Derek, Erica, Jalen, Jaleel, Kayla, Jake, Anita and Steve, Kay, and Asuka. Thank you all so much for all of your awesome submissions. It was so great to get all of your frames in. As you all know, it's Friday. You may be thinking, where is episode three? It's coming next week, May 1st. We're gonna be premiering it on YouTube. That means at 4 p.m., if you're on the video, you're able to watch it in real time with everyone else who is on the video. We can chat and just do something that's a little more fun than just watching the video isolated by ourselves. <laughs>